A family in Atlanta, Georgia is mourning after their 16-year-old daughter was shot to death at a Hyatt the day after Christmas, according to Fox 5. Calicia Williams was supposed to be at an Airbnb with friends and one chaperone, but her parents received a call around 9 a.m. notifying them that Williams had been shot in the groin around midnight on December 26. A disturbing TikTok video was uploaded to her social media at 12.012 and she was pronounced dead at 12.32. This video leads to more answers that the police are not willing to give. Calicia Williams was 16 years old. Her friends and family called her Pinky. Williams lived in Georgia and attended South Atlanta High School. Her friends described her as bright, loving, smart, and outgoing. She was also a great dancer with several videos on TikTok that garnished hundreds of likes and views. Williams' stepfather said Calicia loved the color pink and she was a homebody. I said, Pinky, you need to go outside and get some air. No, man, I'm good, I'm good. As long as I got my Wi-Fi and my Netflix. Most people were desperate to get out the house when the coronavirus pandemic forced them to stay home, but not Calicia. Reasons why her parents allowed her to participate in what they thought would be a quiet holiday party with six of her friends. They said she really didn't get out much. According to her parents, Calicia's friend mother promised she would be safe and looked after at an Airbnb. She's supposed to be in an Airbnb with a couple of more friends from school and the mother. They'd have done this once before, so we was a little comfortable of letting her go the second time. And we spoke to the mother, and she said she was going to be there. The sleepover described to her parents is a very popular trend on YouTube and TikTok for young girls her age. Calicia left her parents' home around 9 p.m. for the holiday party. However, Calicia's parents said there was never an Airbnb, even though one of William's friend's parent allegedly promised she was going to be there. Her loved ones were baffled to find out Calicia was at a hotel and why it led to her death. Her parents claimed they didn't know something was wrong until authorities called them at 9 a.m. the next day. As a parent, you're supposed to pick up the phone and call their parents. New this morning, heartbreak this Christmas after a teenage girl was shot and killed at a hotel. And now police are hoping two other young people can tell them what happened. December 25th, 2020, Williams never made it to an Airbnb and instead was at the Hyatt in downtown Atlanta. Many article reports different names to who booked the room for the minors. Instead stated, guests must be 18 years old or order and the hotel has and will continue to follow that policy. According to reports, Williams was inside of a room at the Hyatt with a juvenile male. A verbal dispute occurred between both parties which resulted in the juvenile now male fatally shooting the victim. Police responded to the Hyatt Atlanta on Peachtree at 12.30 a.m. after receiving calls about a person being shot. Atlanta police spokes officer Anthony Grant told the AJC when officers arrived they found a 16-year-old girl in the lobby with a gunshot wound to the groin area. Police said she was not alert or breathing at the time. Williams was taken to a hospital where she later died. The young man was detained at the scene and interviewed at Atlanta Police Department headquarters, police said. He is now being charged with felony murder, aggravated assault, reckless conduct, and possession of a pistol by persons under 18. The unidentified teenage boy was taken to Metro Youth Detention Center. In a statement released Saturday afternoon, a spokesman for the Hyatt Hotel said, the safety and security of our guests and colleagues is always a top priority. We are saddened by the isolation 
isolated situation that occurred at the Hyatt Atlanta early this morning. And our thoughts goes out to those who have been affected. The hotel is fully cooperating with local authorities with their investigation and further questions may be directed to the Atlanta Police Department. But the family still have a lot of questions surrounding Calicia's death, including how did she get from the hotel room to the lobby? Why wasn't the hotel clerk at the front desk? Where was the other parent and the other girls? Family says they're baffled as to why 16-year-old Calicia Williams, or Pinky as they called her, never made it out of the Hyatt Regency alive. They say she was supposed to be at a chaperoned event at an Airbnb, and they believe the shooter isn't the only person responsible for her life being cut short. Videos that's been attained by Calicia's social media suggest there may have been more to the killing. And when Williams is seen in the hotel room the day before she was killed, and she was seen with another friend. At the end of another video that was posted at 12.12.02, something happens which scares Calicia. She seems startled and jumped back. 30 minutes later, Calicia died. The family is frustrated and wants more answers. She wasn't out in the streets. She don't go nowhere. Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottom has been criticized for her administration's failure to address the surge in violent crime citywide this year. The Atlanta Police Department's interim chief also have been under intense criticism for the spike of violent crime. There are these systemic issues that we've talked about. We talk about them nationally. We talk about them locally. Uh, these issues of equity and opportunity and these things that lead people to commit crimes. Uh, but there's also this immediate response that we also have to assess and make sure that we're doing everything that we can do proactively to address these crime challenges that we have in the city. They both claim to make it their mission to do something about the nonstop violence surrounding the metro Atlanta. Many people shared their outpouring love for Calicia. Her high school, South Atlanta, made a statement on their social media account stating, We mourn the passing of Calicia Williams, a sophomore and beloved student at South Atlanta High School. Our hearts are with her family. We know that this news hits hard, especially during the holiday, and the continued need for social distancing can make this even harder. However, there are resources available during the break. If you or anyone you know is in the need of these services, please take advantage. A GoFundMe account was also set up to go towards Peaky's headstone. A link will be pinned for those who would like to donate. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts and your opinions. Make sure to be respectful in the comments and please let's not judge. Thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you later and don't forget to check on your loved ones.